Hi there Vaporwall, this is Uncle Dagger. Um, I recently had the opportunity to uh, buy one of the Clockworks repairable dripping atomizer, rebuildable dripping atomizer, um, direct from uh, Clockwork Mods in the UK. And I just built my first coil setup. Um, this particular coil uses the Odysseus silica wick that I got from Clouds of Vapor. The wick that's supplied with the RDA is fiberglass and I, I just really didn't like the taste I was getting from it and it seemed to shed little pieces of fiberglass everywhere. Um, so I've got this uh, silica wick in here right now. It's on my Proveri and I'm running it at uh, 3.8 volts and this coil that I just built is about 1.7 ohms but uh, I just got it working the way I'd like it and it seems to be hitting pretty good so here's a look at some of the vapor production from the RTA, R RDA taste is good um, I actually dripped 20 drops in here he says it can hold up to 2 mils of juice if you use some sort of uh, fluval, fluval filler at the bottom of the tank. Now the filler doesn't actually come in contact with the coil so you don't end up with the burnt taste that you would get out of something like a cartomizer. So this is truly an atomizer. Um, that's one of the things I was looking for is I wanted the convenience of a cartomizer without the taste of the filler. And so far this seems to be working pretty good now that I've got my coil issue sorted out. Initially I was using Nichrome, but I've since switched to Canthal, and that seems to be working a little better for me. Like I said, uh, vapor production is very good, flavor is good, throat hit is good. Um, one of the things that Zen uh, touted about the Zenesis was the fact that he had adjustable throat hit built in by just changing the position of the vent hole. Um, my Zenesis had a very airy draw. I'm not a big fan of airy draws on my uh, PVs. This has a little bit tighter draw similar to what you get out of an analog, which I do like. Um, you do have the ability to possibly use some sort of a uh, mesh wick if you'd like to. And I know there's some people on the UK Vapors forums that have done just that. But honestly, this is working great with the silica wick, so for now, that's the way I'm going to be running it. Yeah, so this thing is really great. Um, if you want any more information on it, I would just recommend to send a PM to uh, Clockworks on the uh, UK Vapors forum. It was very responsive and actually I got this within about a month of um, placing the order so it's very well made. It's got Delrin top and bottom caps and an o-ring seal but I haven't had any leaking. The bottom connector for the 510 does also appear to be sealed so I haven't had any leaking through the connector. Um, so, so far this seems to be just what I was looking for in a rebuildable atomizer. I think this will work great to test my juices and the ability to hold 20 plus drops of liquid is fantastic. I'm also vaping 100% VG in this video. The adjustable throat hit is great because a lot of people complain that VG just doesn't give enough throat hit. Um, and obviously that's something that you can uh, remedy with a device like this. I haven't tried it with a vape mate yet, but it does seem like it would work. But honestly, um, you know, I can vape 20 drops for quite some time uh, without needing to refill. So I'm not even using the fluval filler material that uh, some members have put in the bottom to hold extra juice. But that's a quick look at the um, RDA from Clockwork Mods over in the UK.